Salutations, and welcome to Kirby Plays Games. This is Seven Days to Die, and we are back for Day 17 of the Snow Biome Survival Series. I have made some improvements to the base. The first thing you're going to notice is the brand new chemistry station. And then on our right, you can see I've moved the campfire over to make room for that. Now into the back room, we have successfully placed our generator and I've cleaned up some stuff and we have our cement mixer here as well. So usually I would have a plan for the day and I sort of do. But to be completely honest, it's more that I just have a whole bunch of things that I'd like to get done. I'm just going to see how the day goes and see what we can get done. We might go to the trader, we might work on the base, we might do lots of things. I think I've decided that for now I'm going to do a couple improvements on the base and see where that gets me. So the reason I'm hollowing this out is because I am planning to put one of the electrical fence posts over in this spot and I want to make sure it's nice and protected with plenty of walls and barriers and whatnot. Discovering that a lot of this is actually dirt, so I'm thinking I should clean some of that up. I almost forgot I need these electric wire relays. I think two should be fine. Something else I like to do sometimes is just to keep it out of my inventory, I'll craft some cobblestone rocks over here in the workbench, which is kind of a useful tip, I think. The reason I'm reinforcing this part so much is because I really don't want them to decide that going through the electric fences is going to be a good idea. And it's going to live just in there. Might as well put that down. Awesome. And I'm not going to worry about finishing that up at the moment. Part of what I am going to do is put it behind a door. Just to make sure it is nice and safe. It is nice that we've been able to run the forge for so long without getting any screamers. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay. This side needs a little bit more TLC. Kind of startled me. Whew. Little bit nerve wracking. Be nice if I could get some kind of blockade here, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Starting to look pretty good. I 
so I know I'm gonna want this here. Looks like it's coming along pretty well. There is a method to my madness, hopefully. Alright, this is coming along pretty nicely. I feel like I'm going to need some more building materials, so I'm gonna do a quick stop out to the trader and take some stuff to sell and see if anything piques my interest. I was so excited to get going, I almost forgot to bring stuff to sell. Ooh, while we have a moment, we are going to modify Oh, wow. This level 4 bow actually is better. So that's a good lesson right there. Range damage 28, range damage 26. I guess this one goes a bit faster, but it has less durability too, so uh, we're just gonna keep on keeping on with this one. And now let's see if we can make it to the trader before they close. Doesn't seem to be any missions near the trader, so I guess we're just going shopping. And some very considerate zombies made an exit for me to pop out on my bicycle. Very, very considerate zombies doing some very thoughtful home renovations. looking at the quest marker and I, I almost didn't notice La Bear. Let's uh, let's do this for the food. It looks mean. I don't even, is that a zombie bear? Can't tell. Can't tell. Wish I could wait for a headshot. I guess I could, but let's do this. No! It fell on my bike! Are you okay, bicycle? Wow. Sure is angry looking. Dude, dude, don't mind me. Just gonna take your delicious bear meat. Whoa. Enemy spotted. There's literally a cat, like, right there in the background. Imagine if that came at us while we were fighting the bear. See, I, I, uh, I said we were going to the trader, but it looks like we're going hunting instead. Whew. We managed to do both of those without getting mauled. Pretty happy about that. Alright, let's not show this. There we go. We don't need to see that in the corner. Sorry about leaving that up for like most of the episode. 
but hopefully you don't mind. I just don't know if we'll actually ever get to it, because it looks like it might be south of our biome. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness. Looks like it's a hunting day. I should have checked my surroundings, but... Uh, I'm just going to keep going with what I'm doing right now. Oh! Pounced! We did not get out of that one quite unscathed. But two out of three ain't bad. Just loading up on delicious things to eat later. Uh, once we've cooked it, of course. Audience, please get your mind out of the raw meat realm. We are not there yet. Now, I know you were thinking it. Maybe not you, but somebody somewhere was. They're like, oh, you're gonna eat that raw? It's like, no, no, I'm not gonna eat it raw. What are you talking about? At a campfire, five minutes away. <laughs> this is not a situation where we need to eat meat raw. Look at this one. This one really is a mountain lion. And it's just mountaining away. Just mountaineering. Oh wow, it dodged me. It dodged again. It's a ninja cat. I'm just terrible at shooting. There we go. We're not using the handgun again. I think that was what the problem was. Just not powerful enough. We need a more powerful firearm. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All the cats. See, who could have predicted this? I, I wouldn't have known. Oh, we'll spend we'll spend half the day uh, building the base, and then we'll come out and we'll just run into four mountain lions and a bear, like on the way to the trader. We'll see how many we run into on the way back. How's it going, buddy? Oh, we got some quests. Tier two quest. I'll take that and put it in my back pocket. Let's see your inventory, buddy. You wanna take that off my hands? Glorious. Of course we forgot all our money, but we will make some money. Great, I think that's everything we wanted to sell. Now let's see what we got here. Stuff, so much stuff. I think they just restocked, cause we got stuff. I'd, I'd really like to see if they have a mining, nope. What do they, what do they have for mods? Weapon flashlight mod. Of course, we just found one. See, that's cool, but it's not, like, necessary. Sneaking over trash makes no sound. That's pretty cool. Junk turret would be nice, but we're not really hurting for one. I'm kind of curious, what do we need for, like, a mining helmet? Okay, we need the book. What about a helmet light mod? Also need a book of some sort. Okay. So maybe what I'll do is I'll clean them out of cement. And I'll clean them out of cobblestone rocks. And I think that's pretty good. They don't restock for another couple days. So if I really, really need something, I can uh, make my way back here. Sneaking over trash makes no sound. That's pretty good, but no. Now, I'm taking my precious money, and I will leave. Also, let, let's see, where's this mission you've given me? Oh, okay, that might be in our biome. This is pretty good timing. We, uh, we might have a chance to wrench a couple cars on the way back, and other than that, we can just be on our way and head home. These look like great cars to wrench. Looks like this is where I started, actually, yeah. When I looked over the horizon and I saw the trader as soon as I was done the starting quest. I'm hoping to get some oil out of these cars, hopefully. There's some oil. Hey, an engine! We're getting more oil. Yeah! Thank you, cars! So I'm gonna have to think about what we will tackle tomorrow. I have not quite decided uh, what the priority is. Maybe we will finish up the base, electricity, and traps, and maybe we will go on an adventure. And it's quite possible that we will do both. I'd say with, uh, with the hunting spree that we had, that was a very successful day. And I'll have to take some time, get organized, and figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. 
probably also cook up some food. But all that said, thank you very much for joining me for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please do consider liking and subscribing. And make sure to join me for day 18 of the Snow Biome Survival Series. And we'll see what kind of trouble we get up to. Until then, as always, have an excellent day.